Hi all, this is Max from ZetoMax.com and SamsungEpic.com and SamsungEpicHacks.com Today we're going to root the phone. We just actually got this today, like five minutes ago. So first thing you'll want to do is uh, go to settings, go to applications, uh, settings, go to uh, applications, and then development and then uh, hit the USB debugging button okay. oh. oh, I have to remove the cable first so do that okay and then connect the USB cable the micro USB and then connect it to your computer and this root method is actually really easy supposedly we're just trying it um, but you'll also need uh, the Samsung drivers, so let's do that part next. Hi all, this is Max from ZetoMax.com. So you can download the drivers. I'll have links on my blog post for uh, get. You just need the Samsung Galaxy S drivers, and we can double check if it's installed right. You should see a Samsung phone. Some kind of Samsung phone here. Oh, you know what? I think it's some kind of error. So. Let me actually go find the drivers and I'll be right back. Hi all folks, so I've got the driver installed. I'll have links to that. And once you've got the driver installed, uh, you will want to uh, download the, uh, the uh, exploit. It's the one click root exploit. I'll have links to that too. And unzip it. And also, you'll have to have Android SDK installed, of course, uh, which has ADB. Go into the folder, and then um, you can copy this folder, the whole folder, rename it to something simpler, like, uh, let's play it, Samsung, um, this is Epic E. And then uh, do Control X. And move it to a directory it's easy to remember. I'll just put it in the SDK directory. There we go. So it's in there. And then all we're gonna go do is open a command prompt. Alright. And then let me just check the camera's running. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go cd slash uh, cd slash SDK. And then we're gonna go cd Samsung E. All right, and then we're just gonna run, do ADB devices. See if it, it, okay. So it comes up. That's your device, and all you have to do is uh, run dot that, and that will root it. We hope so. So enter key. Yippee yo, yippee yay, and. Uh, have a beer while it's rooting itself and uh, it's gonna it's successful so just hit and your phone will reboot baby and it will be rooted rooted we still haven't actually activated the phone but we have rooted so let me show you that we root it. I hope I'm right on this. So we should have a super permission, super user permissions app. So let's go find the super user app. Do we have it? Right, where are we? So we can double check it. Let's go back to the screen. We can go back into the shell. So go back to the screen here. Let's do ADB shell. Oh, well, actually, ADB devices. And it's still there. We do ADB shell. 
And if we get a uh, pound sign, it means it's rooted, but it's, I don't know, type SU. Oh, okay, it's rooted because we can use SU. Uh, it just doesn't have a uh, super user permission program, I think, but it's rooted. So next we'll go install the Wi-Fi tether and see if it works.